we're driving in and we're meeting Sarah at the clinic so she's actually got her final eye test today to get the final prescription for the implant and my friend is driving me in for my consultation because I'm gonna get dilated so I won't be able to drive home and I was meant to go on the train but that didn't quite happen so now we're driving in to central London and stuck in traffic. So the easiest way to park for London appointments at Harley Street or near Harley Street is to actually park, turn in at York Gate from the A40, so from the A40 you turn left into York Gate and it's street parking, pay and display on the one of the apps. You avoid congestion charge but you do now pay ULES. So my friend's car is ULES compliant, so we're not paying the ULES fee, and it's outside congestion. So everything to the right, if you turn right in, it's congestion charge. If you stay A40 or turn left from here, it's not congestion charge. So we're going to turn left in literally 0.3 miles and park up around the Regent's Park. So there's two circles, circles around Regent's Park, and you just park anywhere there, and it's all bay parking. A parallel parking and it's um, meter pay and it's about four or five hours you can stay there so we're just coming up to Baker Street station on the left and then you've got Madame Tussauds on the left as well and we're about to turn left into York Gate in 300 yards turn left onto York Gate and all of these roads on the right are congestion so so we're going to walk across. Turn left onto your gate, then you will arrive at your destination. So turning in here. Right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn right. So top of the lights. You have arrived. And then you're going to literally turn right here. So this is where we just park in front of you now. And we're going to turn right. You can literally park anywhere on either side of the road here. So we just need to find a bay here and it's pay and display. So we're going to park here now. It's card payment at the machine. Yeah, I remember now. So it's card payment at the machine. You don't need the app and it's pay and display. So anything here, all this stuff on the right hand side. So loads of spaces here. And all here, even. Alright, so we've chosen to park away from the trees so that the car doesn't get full of leaves on the way back. Right, so this is the machine to park and we're gonna do the middle one. So enter for number plate, card, time, and this is the payments. Right, so we're walking to the clinic now. And we're going to do the little bit early, I think. Better early than late. And Sarah's going to be there soon as well. All right, so my friend does not want to be in the video and we're respecting that. So she's going to always stay to the side a little bit. But she's here to show her support to Sarah and I. But yeah, so we just parked up and we're going to walk up now. Right, so coming out of York Gate, we're gonna turn left and then right down Devonshire Place. Harley Street's the next right, but we're gonna take the first right. And that's York Gate. Right, so we're gonna 
across here. We need to go to Wimpool Street, so we're going to go all the way down here. This is all congestion zone state side now. If you did want to pay congestion zone, this is the parking for him. Oh my god, they charge more if you got a diesel car. Look. Yeah. Right, so we need to find 22 Wimpool Street. So we're halfway down now. Not here yet. We should bring Sarah, find out how far she is. Right, so now we've got to Upper Wimpool Street. So we're just going to keep going all the way down. Harley Street, Sarong, that side there. Right, so we're on Wimpool Street now, so we need to find number 22. Right, so up to 44. So we're actually really early, and Sarah is going to get to Bond Street. So we're going to meet her at Bond Street and then come back. But let's just find the clinic so we know where it is. Number 22. Right, so we're still on Wimpool Street and the numbers are actually going up on this side but then down on that side and it's not the normal odds, odds and even numbers so let's keep going and see. Yes, yeah, so it's 29 Wimpool Street. So let's cross here and then it will be on this side. So we're on 29 Wimpool Street and we want to get to 22. We're on 28. Twenty-five. So I thought should be coming up. Yeah, there we go. Twenty-four. So it's not odds and evens opposite sides, it's all in one row. Twenty-three. So it should be this. Twenty-two. Yeah. Yes, there it is. Twenty-two. Right, so we found it, but we're not staying now because Sarah isn't here yet. So we're going to go get her from Bond Street Station. So we're going to keep walking down and get to Bond Street, probably have something to eat quickly, and then get back here with Sarah. So if I keep walking down, you literally just end up at Bond Street, Oxford Street, back of Selfridges, all the way down. And it's the easiest way because we haven't even paid congestion charge. So there you go, end of Bumpool Street is literally back of House of Fraser. Go and pick up Sarah from the station. If you just walk through House of Fraser. Exit 
because it's on Oxford Street. Right, so now we're on Oxford Street and Bond Street is going to be that away. So it's Bond Street, so I was going to be here in about seven minutes. Lights aren't on yet. to you today so we're getting the refraction done um, they're gonna check my prescription I think see what it is I think that's about it my one's a short one so it's your final eye test basically yeah yeah final number check yes and then your implants gonna get ordered Wow so you better give accurate answers red or green I one know two. I'm one of those indecisive ones where I'm like, uh, not sure so whatever you say today it's gonna get put in. It will. Can't go remake your glasses. Oh my goodness. I'm a bit nervous actually, I'm not gonna lie. I'm super nervous. I think he's gonna say no to me. No, no, I don't I'm think scared he's gonna say I'm not I'm not suitable. No, my but eyes you, too small, no. my anterior chamber's too tight. Oh my pressures are gonna go up. You're just being extra. <laughs> but I'm the opposite of you. I'm a plus prescription. Yeah, so Hopefully it should be alright. Like we've got to walk through House of Fraser. Oh. Yeah, what I wanted to know was, why is it again that you have to get your cell count checked every year? Because it's a uh, surgery and you're going past the cornea and it's the endothelium that they want to make sure. No, so, so what if the cell count is, I don't know, low one year? Like, what, what are they going to do? They would have to ask him. That's your question, is yeah. it? Make your list. Okay, <laughs> that's one of my main questions. My question was the measurement thing, and he answered that last time. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, in that um, in webinar. the webinar. Yeah. 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 Okay. So your question is, what happens at the end of the video? Count is less. Yes. Then what do we do? Then what happens? Yes. And that's every year. Because that's every year until forever, right? Like until. Yeah. But do they do that? They don't do that in Qatar, people, do they? No, they I don't. don't. I've never heard this. Yeah. No, they don't. They don't. Yes, it's just here. It's just here on the right hand side. So the pret that's on the corner. Yeah. And then there we're red. Oh. 
Right. So we're all masked up. She's not got anti fog wipes, so she's going to be up. <laughs> <My God. laughs> but I'm okay. Right, so we need. I'm seeing my focus. 